Hi, everyone. So welcome to another Chaos Africa weekly, bi-weekly meeting. Um, I think I have to change this here, bi-weekly, sorry. So yeah, welcome to another meeting. Um, I wasn't here in the last, the last one, so I'm excited to come back. And um, so I'm going to paste the link to the meeting minutes in the chat. So you can feel free to add your name and tell us um, if, <laughs> I think everybody's saying their food. If you could use one piece of technology, what would it be? Nobody's even saying their computer. Okay, that's interesting. So yeah, um, my, I think co-facilitator is Kinsley. Um, the, will anyone like to facilitate in the next meeting? So we'll just add your name here. Yeah, you can. I would like to do that. Hi, everyone. Okay, thank you, Anita. I'll just put Anita's name here. Okay, so um, let's head into our agenda. By the way, if um, you can take notes for us, please you feel free to take notes on the agenda. And also, um, if you have any topic that you want to discuss, you can, you know, let us know your topic. Um, you can put in the agenda, we'll feel, free, feel free and we'll discuss it. Um, Yes, yeah, so I think we have some new people that join us for the first time. So would you love to like say hi, Jason? Yeah, hi everyone. Uh my name is Jason. And uh I'm happy to be part of this. I don't really know much about like what I'm supposed to do and all that, but I think I'll figure my way around. Yeah, and it would also help you figure your way around. So it's, it was nice to meet you in Ghana and I'm excited that you are here um, with us. Um, I think, um, Daniel, I don't think you have introduced yourself before. Do you want to introduce yourself? Um, I'm guessing, Daniel, your mic is not on. I, I'm not seeing your mic on. But maybe we'll circle back to you. Um, so, is that Daniel? Ah, Kinsley, your network is so bad. Daniel, Don't worry. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I meant Oyochi, but your network is so bad, Kinsley. Like, it's breaking. Oh, am I the only one hearing Kinsley like breaking or? Yeah, he's breaking. It's not okay. Is it? Okay, no worries. I, I'm seeing interesting people saying their PC. Ah, that that nice. Um, Audrey, why are your PC? Um, bigger screen, easier to use. I don't know. I just <laughs> like it. <laughs> Yeah, right. Uh, I, I even thought the first thing I thought you were going to say was like he gives you money. But okay. <laughs> yeah, so um we do have like a monthly onboarding call um that we do every month. Um and and this speaking to Jason, you might want to join the next one in November. Um it happens every I'm going to get the exact dates. I think it happens every let me just check the chaos calendar, sorry. So we do have that monthly onboarding call where you can get to know more about the community, the different software projects we have. So it happens every, uh, yes, every first Wednesday of the month um, by, this is 11 a.m. Central time, but in WAT time, it's it, I think it's 5 p.m., which should be 4 p.m. your time. That's a lot of that's a lot of hurdles to um time hurdles, but this is the time zone showing here. It's 11 a.m., which is central time. So um you might want to add the next one to your calendar so you get reminded of it. So you can just copy it to your calendar. This is the old one, so you might want to navigate to November um the first Wednesday, which is this. 
And yeah, this is it. So you might want to add this one to your calendar so you get to attend that one. So usually in this welcome, in these onboarding calls, we usually do like a, a breakdown of what the chaos project is and, you know, different uh, projects. I think I'm echoing something. Can you, is it clear now? Okay, so usually in these welcome calls, we do like a breakdown of what the chaos project is and every other thing that happens, different projects you can get involved with. So if you're new, you can add this um welcome to chaos call on your calendar. It's for newcomers that join the chaos project. So that's it for that section. Um, does anyone have any like questions? Yeah, I think silence means no. <laughs> um, okay. Um, I see Dan. I don't know if you've introduced yourself before. Hi, Dan. Hi. Good afternoon from here. Yeah. Um, yeah, where are you joining us from? I'm joining from Nigeria, Lagos State. Okay, great. Are you um in your Richard Daniel as well? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, great. Okay, you joined in with another um another profile that's great thank you i think i've been seeing um your messages on the designers group so welcome right, thank you yeah great um so i think the next thing is the um um jason so i think the next thing is this the update from the badging website so um, for the people that are new, there's a website we've been working on, um, one of the chaos projects. Um, so we're working on like a website for that project. And yeah, so we, we initially started with design work and now I think the development work has started. So I'm going to show, I don't know, Kins, did you, is your network better now? Oh, I need to sign in. Can you hear me? Yeah, is your network better now? Um, well, I can hear you clearly from my end, so it depends. Yeah, I think I can hear you clearly. Too. Yeah, I can hear you clearly. So do you want to like give, um, you know, updates on like what you guys have been working on, on the design um, part of things and even a refresher for like people that are just new because we do have some new people. Hi, IODG. Okay, Um. let me see if I can share my screen while yeah. doing that, if sure. the network will allow me to do that. Yeah, then, I'll allow you okay. here now. Um, so you email. show everything. Now also okay, try to yeah, me. thank you. Okay. Um, okay, so uh, good afternoon, everyone. So it depends. Good evening, good morning. Oh my wherever God. You're joining in from. Okay, so um, uh, so far, um, we've been making some actually good. Oh, my network. Oh, God. Yeah, let me. Let me share for you. So Let me sorry. share my screen. Because I think sharing um, your screen. Do you want work. to continue? Yeah, I'll continue for you. Don't worry. So I think what Kinsley was trying to say. So Kinsley is the design lead. Um, and they have been working on this project. I think okay, so, it's, so, been over, yeah. it's been over okay, like a fine. Month. Can everyone hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hear yeah, yeah, you. We can okay. hear you, yeah. Okay, so Kinsley and um, the designers have been, you know, working on this for like over a month now, and it's so this is the website um, for the badging. We have a project called Badging. If you do not know about it, you get to know later on. But they've been working on this project, I think, since 
I think it's up to two months. And so this is the project that they were working on. I'm trying to make sure that everybody can actually see this better. Should I reduce this? Let me reduce this. Okay. Okay. I'm so bad with navigating this Figma. So sorry, everybody. <laughs> Um, so can everyone see this? So this is like, I think the home page that they've been working on. Yeah. And this for this, this is the home page. And this is the about page for the website. This is the events badging page. So there are a couple of pages all like all the pages are here. So they've, they have been working on, I think they after working on this, the development guys have also started working, I think so. And I think what they are doing right now is um, creating the components or the assets, I think something like that. Um, in case you correct me if I'm wrong, but if you are a designer you, or you are interested in the work, if you're not already doing this with them, you can reach out to Kinsley on the Slack. Um, Kinsley is the best person to talk with, um, to get you up to speed with the work they've been doing here. So everything, they have, they have a badging, a badging um, group, I think on Figma. So you need to be added to the group to be able to, work on this and understand what has been going on here. And I think something I wanted to talk about again is we can kind of like need writing help because if you look at the the website currently, some of the text here are not like not um correct, but we need like a lot of all these details are things that we can all work on. I see uh, Mary Blessing, please go ahead, you raise your hand. Oh, yeah, hi, hi everyone. Hi, Ron. I am yeah. just joining in. I'm so sorry to cut you short, but I just wanted to know what I missed because I just joined in. Okay. Uh, you didn't miss so much. We just started actually, like, we just started talking about the bad the work that Kinsley, so Kinsley, the design lead, the work that Kinsley has been doing on the budget website and, you know, some updates around what's been going on. So that's what I'm currently. You know, um, Kinsley's network is kind of like poor, so he can't share the update. So I'm kind of like doing that for him. Did did I? Are you are you on page with us now? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Great. Okay. So um, like I said, like some of the texts here, um, while some of them are correct, some of them are not like they're not accurate. So we need help with, so the writing help is like copywriting and, you know, smoothing most of the words, you know, that here. And that person will be, I'll be working with the person directly to smoothing that because I've been in the badging project for over two years. So um, I have like a lot of all those information um, to smoothing the text here. I think we do have a doc, but if anybody's interested in um, working on this, like the writing aspect, the copywriting aspect, and you know, because I, I think now that the development has started, we need to get the accurate text in the web copy so that they, they would move with that so that they don't have to like keep changing things. So does anyone like we could be someone doing technical writing or even copywriting? Yeah, um, I'd like to take this off. Okay, is that Anita? Yeah, that's me. Okay, so if anyone wants to join Anita as well. Uh, yeah, me too. Okay, Anita and Omar. So yeah, I would send the documents. There is a particular document that I think, let me find it here. There's a particular document that has, um, because what we needed to do is we need, that, we need to get out the current text that is here and spot out the things that are not correct and then start correcting them, like spotting it out. But let me find the exact document because I know I did open like a web copy. Um, oh, Kinsley, do you have, do you have access to that? I know I opened it one time, but I can't remember where I kept it. Um, I'm not sure. 
Um, um, okay. I'm going to look for it and okay. then I'm going to add it. Let me, let me check Slack. Maybe if you shared anything like that. Okay, sorry about that. Um, so I'll find the I'll find the the link to that, and I'll share it with you and Anita. Okay, I think I have. Um, let me share. Let me share the link with you. Let me just check it out to confirm. Okay. Um. So if you if you see it, you can just put it in the in the chat or maybe add it um, to the document. Maybe, okay. Um so that's I think that's for them for the development work. I think since um Enoch has been working on and I think Adi Dotsun as well. So this is the, the website. I have to increase my screen text now. Because I know this is not accessible. So this is the website. The work has started, but I know they've not done so much on or uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Enoch. You, know, you can type in the chat. I know you say you're in a noisy place. Um yeah, so this is the website for um the badging, this design that I've been showing here, right? This is the website that has started, and I think they are building this with React. So if you, I'm going to send the link to this in the chat. Um, let me see. Okay, yeah, so this is the link I'm looking at currently. So um, they've been working on building the website up and I think Enoch has opened like a list of issues that if you if you write react if you do like you can come grab like and there's also a, a channel that's specific for the chaos africa development work so you can also join that channel and there's also like a project board mm -hmm. to track the work that is going on so if you see like there's a project board this is the project board here so you kind of like track what is going on on the on the website. So uh, I don't know if there are any confusions or if anyone has any questions or Enoch, I think Enoch cannot chat, but he, can, he cannot use um, his mic for can chat. Does anyone have like any questions? I know some people have been working on this. No. Hello, um, yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Can hear you. So um, I've been working on a particular component, right? And when I try to see um, on this record that I cloned, on this record that I cloned, right? It's not displaying as it's displaying on my own end. I don't know the region. I've tried to reach out to the end of Sorry, I was muted. I was talking and I was muted. Sorry. So um yeah, I, I pinged in Oc and he's going to respond to it. I, I think I saw I, you you're the one that posted that on the channel, right? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, so I think yeah, he would respond to it very soon. I think he has been caught up in a couple of stuff, so He's okay. going to respond to it soon. But yeah, well done on your work. Okay. Yeah, does anyone have like any question or any feedback? I know the, the website work has not really like started. Uh, it has started, but then there's there's nothing yet to show. Like the Heroku app, I think is even empty. But if you want to, this is just the Heroku app for now. <laughs> would have a more polished, polished version soon. But yeah, if you want to participate in the work, you can, there's the channel that the communication goes on, Chaos Africa dash devs. So you can find all those details in that channel. And you can also check out the, the issues here and indicate interest if you want to. I know there are like a lot of open issues here. A lot of like open issues here, so you can indicate 
your interest in them. I don't know. My phone has just been buzzing. Jeez. Um. Okay. Um. So, I think. Okay. Yeah. I think the doc is here. Who put this here? Um. This is the document for if you're interested in the web copy. This is the document to that we are working with to put in all the information and then update it on the design part so that the developers will be able to put in the correct information there. So that's it for that one. Um, does anyone have any question before we move to the next thing? Um, oh. I think I have to take my my phone, but just just a minute, because it, it will keep buzzing. Sorry, everyone, and it was a wrong number. I've been pausing my phone since. Um, so here we are back. Sorry for that short. So I, I think does it no one has any question, right? Um, I think I have just one question. Okay. Um when creating this content, I'm going to like use the the, the one from the design as um as a template. Or we're going to create a totally new document and link it to this particular one. Okay, yeah, that's a good question. So initially, like the initial work when I created this um template, like with the different pages, the initial thing I thought about was just let's put in the information here. But when when I saw that there was already a lot of information on the on the design itself, like. I don't know who actually did this information, but I think the designers were the ones that put in like that information. So when I realized that there was already something there, I was like, okay, why not we transfer what is here, which I don't even know how, how possible that is. Um, Lamy, I don't know if you want to put, like transfer what is here and then uh, point out the parts that are not correct and we update it. I don't know how we want to work on it. Lam, is there any way to transfer the text or will it be too much work transferring the text? And then um, what do you think is the best way to do it? Lami here. Lam is not here. Lami. Um okay. Lami is not here. Okay, so I I think it's gonna be um well, it's gonna be a little bit of um work on the design um because you know sometimes you work with layouts and certain constraints and by the time you know the <laughs> the content being supplied is more than what you use for the design mm -hmm. you know you just have to restructure some stuff but but that i i, I think um what we now do is uh, maybe there's a way to add the link link the right content to to each of the designs such that whoever is implementing the design understand can you know pick up the content from there but maybe i also look into maybe trying to update um whatever content that is made available so i think to still make things easy for in you know, all team while trying to implement the design too so maybe mm -hmm. uh the content writer should just fix it up and maybe share the stuff with me then i'll see what i can do Okay, is it when you say they should fix it up? Should they because it's it's like double work having to imagine I want to update this home page, right? And okay. I I want to update this particular text. Do yes. I do I update it directly on Figma or I copy okay. it, put it on this web copy, and then no, update no. it and then you have to do it? So what's what the what's the best flow like? Okay, if if the if the person is uh, another question is uh, if the person is like quite familiar with um, the tool, then such can actually do the editing directly on Figma. It's not a big deal. You just okay. make a detail on Figma. 
maybe you just have to request for edit this thing. So I'll grant that privilege so you can make edit on Figma directly. Okay, I, I think that's way better. Um, Anita and Omar, you both are familiar with Figma. Like, if it's me, I'll just cut everything. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can I'll remove you from this. <laughs> I, I don't know. I've tried I've tried a lot with Figma and it's not just working. So okay, so um Omar and um Anita, you guys are good to go, right? I think I think you give them edit access to the Figma directly so they are able to edit it, you know, instead of having to do it on the document and then moving it again. Yeah, what is that? Okay, great. Um, okay, so um, Anita, is that okay with you? Yeah, sure, that works. Okay, great. Do you um, need my my details to give access to Figma or anything? Yeah, I think your email address. Yeah, you can drop uh, it. Okay. Um, Omar, sure. I think Omar, Omar, you have I access. I think Omar is on the existing already. Yeah. I I don't know if I have edit access. Um. Okay, maybe I'll still confirm that. But you can share your email to Omar. Okay, I'll do that. Thank you. Okay. Um. Yeah. So I think I think that's that's um good for the for the badging website. So if you want to get involved in the work, um, I know someone that like, just joined us now on you. So if you want to get involved in the work, like the there's both design work going on, there's development, if you write React or, you know, any other tooling you do, as far as a developer, you can reach out to, for design, you can reach out to Kinsley. For development, you can reach out to um, Enoch, um, Enoch is also on the call. You can reach out to Enoch or you can join the different focus groups. We have like slash chaos Africa dash devs for developers and then dash design for designers. Um so um hi Oye, do you want to introduce yourself? Hello, hi, my name is Oye, and I just joined the um community. Um, also, I'm new to design. I've done a couple of designs on Figma, and I reached out to Roots so I can, you know, navigate myself, my way around the design community. So, welcome to meet. Happy to meet you all. Yeah. Gradually, sure. I'll get to know each one of you. So, I don't know. You said I should go to the um yeah I think, I think I'm, I'm still trying to... yeah i think you're already you in said... the group. i think you're already in that slack group i think i i mentioned you on the slack group so you should already be in that design slack group okay because it seems like there's an ongoing project already i'm a bit clueless on what's really you know going on yeah so don't worry kinsley kinsley will help you out <laughs> kinsley will reach out to you later um because Kinsley is designed right. it, so we're going to like get you up to speed with um and also other designers that are working on it to also get they usually have like a call. Um I think I don't know what the cadence of that call is, Kinsley. What's the call the I don't know, but you can um okay. Um can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. we can hear you. Okay, so um I think um, we still couldn't agree on uh, a time for a recurrent meeting because well, the call was um, most of the time we kind of like or kind of clashed with um, chaos general calls. Okay. So I, I think, um, yeah, so once we agree on the time, but before then, um, I should be able to maybe schedule i told the essay i should we are supposed to have a call next week so i'll communicate on the yeah. channel the time based on what you know works for 
most persons. But but then oh yeah, if I'm right, I just shared a document in the chat. So just do well before we jump on a call to go through the documents. Just gives a basic walkthrough on um what the chaos project is about and the ongoing design project. Then maybe you probably have specific questions to ask when we jump on the call. I don't know if that works for you. Yeah, that works. That works. Okay. All right. Thank you, um, Kinsley. Okay. So yeah, I think the next agenda item is um, update from the research focus group. I think Kajon's help us here. Okay. Hi, everyone. Uh, so Hi, we've been working, yeah, we've been working on um, our survey at least for the past like two months now, if I'm correct. And um, <clears throat> we are trying to like analyze uh, the challenges that African open source contributors face when trying to contribute to open source. And I'm sure that some of us here have actually um, filled this, completed the survey also. So we have, um, closed the form now and we want to start um, the analysis and we've already started and we are getting um, some interesting insights already i lami and um, ruth you know spent some time yesterday during our meeting to actually um sketch out how we are going to run through the analysis and then the reporting and the um, other form of uh, structure that we want to put together so uh we are working towards actually completing all of this analysis and the reporting by the end of uh, November. So please look forward to the report. And um, thank you. Thank you, Adinka. I was trying to take notes. Um, so, the, so to echo on what Adinka said, we initially had a survey. Um, that was, I think, two months. So is it, has it been up to two months, Adinka? I think so. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, yeah. Well, so we had this survey. I'm trying to find the survey link. This Zoom floating controls will not let me be. Um, so yeah, so we, we launched a survey. Um, this is the survey. That was like two months ago for like context for that people that do not know about this. So, and this survey was to like get challenges that open source contributors here in Africa face when they try to contribute to open source, you know, regardless of their skill set level. And, you know, after launching that survey, we did like a whole lot of like reach out to the people to fill the survey. We sent it um, to different places for people to fill it in. And we got 96 res responses. Um, and you know, some of these responses were not just from Nigeria, even though Nigeria was like the highest, but we got responses from people in Ghana, South Africa. Um, I think mm, I'm forgetting the countries. I, I know there are like four or five countries that were represented. Cameroon. As Cameroon, exactly. So yeah. Um, yeah, so four or five countries were, were represented in the survey. So we have closed the survey and then we are doing analysis for um, the different responses we have gotten. And um, Adeinka, myself, and Lami has been working on it. To, so our idea is we have a lot of plans for the surveys to get what are those unique challenges that Africans face when they contribute to open source. Um, how can we help them? You know what's um and then we are going to like do a whole report about the survey and we definitely do need help um if you are interested in analyzing data you know both i think the the major thing we are are you know that needs a lot of help i think is the qualitative analysis because like there are a whole lot of things there that we need to unpack so if you're interested in you know working with data and all that stuff you can Reach out to me, I think our Lami, any of us, and we'll get to you because we have like a, a recurring meeting that we can get you up to speed what we are working on. But yeah, that's that's um the and then write us as well because we are going to write like a report. Um and we are going to like share learnings from the survey, a whole lot of things. I'm just opening people's emails. My God, that's so bad. Yeah. This is being recorded. 
I'm so sorry. Um, um, but yeah, so that's that's like what we've been working on for the research focus group. So if anyone's interested or if anyone has any questions that you have for us, you can also as well ask those questions too. Hmm. No questions. Okay, that means you are doing awesome work. So thank you, everybody. <laughs> but yeah, um, so I think the next agenda item is reminder for like chaos meetings. So this is so for context, this particular meeting is for Chaos Africa, like the chapter in chaos. But there are like a whole lot of other meetings that run around chaos, like the global organization, and one of which is the is the um, general meeting. We do have a general meeting where everybody that contributes to chaos participates in that call. So um, something I have noticed is that we might be working in silos. And what I mean by that is that um, I do not see a lot of people that join Chaos Africa join like the the weekly, the general weekly call. So I would really love people to participate there because um, while we have like a chapter for us, uh, like for Africa, we also have like a whole lot of stuff that go on in the general project. And the meeting time, you can check. If you come to chaos the community slash participate, you're going to see the meeting happens every Tuesday um, by 5 p.m. Nigerian um, WAT time, but this 11 a.m. Um, Central Time Zone, or like you can copy it to your calendar. And at least for this particular meeting, I really love people to start showing up to these meetings and also attending them because then you get to um, collaborate with other people that contribute to the Chaos Project and we don't work in that um, secluded area. So I'd really love people. I'd really love to see people next week join the meeting. I'm going to be, I'm going to make it a thing to post reminders on the channel so people can be reminded to join this particular weekly sync. If you check the general channel, there's always a reminder, actually. Like, if you go to Slack on the general channel, I think every day, the different meetings that happen in chaos, like, there's a reminder that comes in that this meeting is happening and there's a link to join it. So even 10 minutes before the meeting, there's also a reminder. So on the general channel, you see a whole lot of those reminders. So please um we should all like make it a thing to join the weekly calls um yeah so that's the that, that's what i wanted to say here does anyone have any questions or any confusions um audrey yeah go ahead go for it uh, yeah, it's uh, with regards to the meetings. Okay. Um, I saw a lot of in, in the chat that they were supposed to um, delete some meetings and all that. That's why I was like, maybe there's no need for us to join because there are many meetings that are actually not <laughs> happening. I mean, there was a discussion around that. Yeah. So, so um... I don't know which one is actually running and which one isn't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we, we have like, like in chaos we have like a lot of meetings and these meetings all of them are important but um so this is the calendar right and you can see like you can see that we we try as much as we can not to do meetings on mondays and on fridays like you can see that this is like we are just starting the week i don't want any meeting we're ending the week is party friday right so um a whole lot of all the meetings happens on tuesday wednesday thursday and these all these meetings are specific for different things um for the now if you look on tuesdays they have like the chaos weekly meetings like everybody comes together whatever project you're working on in chaos everybody comes together it's a weekly meeting for everybody and then there are some meetings that are specific to a working group um for example now we have like chaos africa chaos africa is a chapter so we have our own meetings um the different other working groups like diversity equity and inclusion app ecosystem software all of them they have their different meetings like if you look at each of them this one is office hours for newcomers this one is evolution working group so if you are in this working group you now have to like attend this particular meeting right um i do not attend all the meetings the ones i attend are the ones i am 
you know involved in so it's just you picking knowing like what's what working group are you participating in and you know what meeting do you want to participate in and then but the chaos weekly meetings like for everybody to come together i don't know if that makes sense audrey yep thanks okay great thank you for your question so does anyone any other person has any question or any confusion Okay, great. Um, so our next agenda item is this. Um, Elizabeth is running a Elizabeth is going to be running Elizabeth, which is um the community manager here at Chaos. Um so she'll be running um we have a DI working group and DI badging. We have people that we call like reviewers that badge events, open source events and conferences. She'll be doing a training on on the 26th for people to join that team. So if you're interested in it, you I think she put it on the Slack um, earlier, I think last week, you can reach out to her or you can reach out to me and we'll get you added to that team, like that training for that team. It's, it's also one way to contribute to the Chaos Project. So you get a whole lot of details about DEI badging during that training. So if you're interested, please, do let me know or Elizabeth. Does anyone have any question? You're welcome. <laughs> I'm not sure I got what you just said. Okay, okay. Um, so you know we have the DI badging project, right? I think that's the thing, yeah. Yes. Okay, yes. So we have, let me just go, let me just quickly go there. So we have the DI badging. This is the org. This is the org. And we have events like events badging. And at any time that people have like open source conferences, um, they come to apply for a diversity, equity, and inclusion badge. And when they apply, this is a typical application, right? This is an an event called first backstage, right? It's happened in 2023. And when they submit their application, we have people, human reviewers, people called like reviewers that go through the application and they have a checklist that you know they're checking. Like say for example, Anita is one of um the reviewers. So Anita has like a checklist that she goes through to ensure that you know there are a whole lot of couple of questions in here that she checks, she checks with what the applicant has applied for. Right and goes through the check and if it checks through, um, Anita is done with her review. We have a bot that collates the results and then awards the badge. So, um, Elizabeth is running. So we we are short of people that are reviewers because we've had like this this period. There there've been a whole lot of open source conferences. Um, you know, we've had a couple of the mm -hmm. overwhelming number an overwhelming number of applications. So we are looking for people to like you know, join that reviewing team. So people that have been reviewing for quite a while would get to rest as well. So, yeah, so that's the training Elizabeth is going to be doing um, on the 26th of this month, um, 5 p.m. Eastern time. Okay, I'll tag both of you on the thread so you can, I'll tag both of you on the thread that Elizabeth made so you can add your email and she'll put you in the meeting so I get reminded of it. Thank you so much. Um, indicating interest, my blessing, and Jason. So, um, please, you get you get my permission now. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay, great. Thank does you. Anybody, yeah. Does any other person have like any questions? Okay. Um. Hi, Manuela. I think this is the first time you're joining like a Kiosk Africa call. Do you want to introduce yourself? Okay, hi everyone. My my name is Manuela, and yeah, this is first time I'm attending the Chaos Africa call. And yeah, so I'm here to learn more about chaos, the activities, and um, how I can fit in or stuff like how I can 
offer any of my like skills or stuff like that. So yeah, I'm just observing yet to observe and learn. Yeah, great. Where are you joining us from? Uh, Nigeria, sure. Or like my location. Yeah, no, no, I'm not. Okay. Okay, I'm that's because I'm, I'm actually in Kogi State. Okay. Oh, great. Fine. Okay. Um, I hope we bet it's flooding in your area. Is, no, 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 no. It's not like yeah. there's no flooding in our area. Thanks, Maxine. Yeah, sure. I, I know I've seen Emmanuel in a couple of calls. Um, so Emmanuel, are you a designer or a developer? Uh, uh, I'm not a designer, so, but I'm still developing my skills. So, yeah. So I uh, can say code. Yeah. You code. Yeah, I could. I could. Yeah, I could. But okay. yeah, but not front end or back end. More like data science and AI. Oh, nice. You, you you can come and join. I, I don't know if you were here when we were talking about the survey we've been analyzing. Okay, um, no, I wasn't I joined yeah, it. Like there's the research focus group. We had this survey that we've been um analyzing for. For our so let me let me just go here. I don't want to be showing people's emails because it's a recording. Okay. So yeah, so this is the survey we've been analyzing, and like we have a research focus group. I don't know if you like we just chaos Africa dash researchers. So we've okay. been we've been you know we've been doing some data analysis on the survey and qualitative analysis and all that stuff. So you can participate okay. in our meeting and yeah, okay. we definitely need okay. help for from you. Okay, okay, that would be nice. That would be awesome. But I, okay, well, I'm not sure. I'm, uh, like, I'm part of, yeah, like, I don't know where. I'll, I'll add like, you. Yeah. I'll add you to okay. the channel after this meeting. Okay, so that okay. We usually do like a bi weekly call. So we can add you to that call and okay. you get to know more about the whole project that we're working on. Okay, okay, okay. That would be nice. Thanks. Okay, great. Thank you, Manuela. Um, so yeah, so that's it for the DI badging training. So um, earlier when I talked about, we have like a monthly onboarding call every month. With the one we did this month, you can check out the recording here. And just to say another thing again, like these meetings are usually recorded, like every meeting we do is recorded. And if you scroll up here, you'd see, you can check out the meeting recordings for Chaos Africa, like every single meeting we've had has been recorded. So you can check out those um, the meeting recordings here and also the other onboarding call. If you watch this onboarding, oh, where am I going to? If you watch this onboarding call, you'd get a whole lot of details about Chaos, the different projects, and it should get you up to speed. And one thing again is that for the, especially for the newcomers, it's, just take your time with understanding what chaos is and the different projects because it's a whole, it's a whole lot. We have a lot of projects, which is something interesting, but sometimes it can get like overwhelming. So just take your time, you know, to um explore around, explore around what what group you want to be part of or what you want to do, and keep asking questions, and we we'll definitely carry you along the way. So yeah, so you can check out the recording. Does anyone have any question about you know? The onboarding, the recording, or any other thing. Okay. I usually take silence to be no. Yeah, I'm not sure anyone will ask the question. Yeah, okay. Um, so I think the last agenda item is something really exciting. Um, so you know, when we opened this group, um, when we opened the chapter for the chaos project, we our, our main goal is to find so um find initiatives and find ways that we could help people um, you know, going through like challenges while contributing to open source and a whole lot of that stuff. Sometimes, you know, we need resources to do that. We can't just, like, do that out of the blue. So um, we have been recently working on opening our own collective. And what collective, open collective is, is, like, a an account. So you can see it's still, we still have, it's still pending approval. 
So it's an account where we can be able to receive money, receive funds for the Chaos Project, for the Chaos Africa Project. So uh, when we get funds here, we can do a whole lot of things like events, um, you know, we can create initiatives that we need running with money. We can, you know, do swags, a whole lot of things, like a whole lot of things, hackathons. And so we, we are in the process of creating our own collective where we can receive funding from people and you know get money and all that stuff so this is the collective account for the meantime um yeah so in case you know anybody that wants to sponsor us or anything just reach out to me and when this is all set and done we will definitely start receiving money and receiving funding from for it so that's the exciting news i want to share with everybody um and i'm also really excited for it so um yeah i think that's the does anybody have any questions about this or any additions or any inputs so are we supposed to like share the link out there or something or um just randomly tell people about it okay yeah so yes we are to share the link but it's not yet done the account is not yet set like we are still you can see the collective is still pending approval so once it's all approved and you know we put in we edit a lot of the information here and make it look very nice so we can now start sharing it sharing it on your socials or telling people about like we have a way that you can fund what we are doing the work we are doing so when that is ready i'll definitely let everyone know but yes for the meantime um just hold on i know you're very excited to share it so just hold on it does that <laughs> <have my question. laughs> you need to we actually need to contribute network for kingsley but Another day. Um, does anybody have any other question? Almost Are you serious? Just now you're I think Kinsley, you have to watch the recording to see how much how much of how how bad the network is. <laughs> but here yes. The fact that we're talking about it and the network is just acting up. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm sure like, it's going to be okay. like three minutes time. <laughs> but yeah, does anybody have any other topics or any other questions? We're almost at the five minutes, the end of the meeting. Going. Hi, Chuendu. I don't think you introduced yourself. So I've, uh, this is the first time I'm seeing you on the call. Do you want to say hi before we close? Hi. Hi, everyone. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Where are you joining us from? You know, I am from Nigeria. I'm located at Oka, Anambra State. OK. What do you do? Are you a designer, developer, data scientist? Mm -hmm. I'm a backend developer. Oh, that's such yeah, a great. Technology. All language. No JS, JavaScript. Interesting. Um, so there's the project we, I know you joined recent just some few minutes ago, but yeah, there's a yeah. project that is ongoing, the badging website. I know they are going to need um some. I'm trying to get to a particular repo. Sorry, just have to go okay. back. Um, so there's a particular like this is the website. Um, I know okay. the work the work has just started, but definitely there should be back end work involved here. And yeah, so you can if you check the Chaos Africa dash devs, um, you can check out the issues. You can you know check the board, the project board, right. and also yeah, you can reach out to me as well to and Enoch to get you up to speed. Another question I have is how many people are participating in October 1st? I think that's something I wanted yeah. to ask. I recently participated, like I contributed to the um, Chaos Africa Slack, but yeah. Oh, nice. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. I, I think I do remember now. I do remember you. Okay. Who, who else is participating in October 1st?
I mean, it's chaos Africa. No, I mean Oktoberfest. Anywhere it can be like. Oh, I'm I'm also contributing to another project for. Um, ah, you don't it's contribute. Not you don't contribute to chaos. I'll be a Audrey. Oh my God. Sorry. I said you don't want to contribute to chaos. I'll be yeah. Contribute. Oh, I'm I'm working on. Uh, how do you call it? Um, I think I'm even done with my task, but they just have to review it. Is the footer for the badging website? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Great. That was a joke, by the way. Okay. Um, is there any <laughs> okay. other person participating? Okay. Um, so um, yeah, so if you do not know what Hacktoberfest is, um, let me go there. So Hacktoberfest is a month-long contribution to open source, um, which happens in the month of October. So all you just have to do is contribute to open source projects and, you know, submit um, pull requests, about four pull requests, and then you can get like a shirt and stickers or you get to plant a tree. So if you click on start hacking, you can register or register here. Um, something we have been doing, I think, the, yeah, I just remember there's something I wanted to talk about. Something we have been doing is trying to track um, non-code contributions. So in the badging website, we have a non-code activity log. So say, for example, you, you contribute as a designer, you just make a PR to this, um, or as a technical writer, you make a PR to this file and put in your name and your contribution type and your link to your contribution. So um, that's something we have been doing to, to kind of, um, you know, um, logging non-code contribution so that you can also participate in October 1st. So if anybody's interested, we have a full, we have a full trade on it on our Twitter. So please do check it out later. I think that's, we're almost at time. Does anybody have any pending question that before we close it for the day? Okay. Thank you everybody for joining. Um, and yeah, I'll see you all next two weeks. Um, bye everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. Uh, bye.